In this video, we will cover the installation of the SureSpeed meter and delivery system on a Kinsey 3000 series interplant row unit with the box hopper. Before you begin, verify you have all of the required parts indicated in the installation instructions. First, we will start by removing any of the listed parts from the row unit. Gauge wheels, scrapers, opening disc, seed meter, seed firmer, seed tube guard, and any wiring harnesses. Next, we will install the seed tube guard. Remove the existing seed tube guard. Identify the casting indentation, which is located just above the OEM seed tube guard. Cut off the bottom of the shank at the casting indentation. It is recommended to use either an angle grinder or a sawzall with a metal cutting blade. Slide the seed tube guard onto the right side of the shank. Position the seed tube guard clamp over the left side of the shank. Install three M6 by 16 millimeter screws to secure the seed tube guard into place. Use a blue Loctite or equivalent to help secure the screws. Do not over torque. Once tightened, the seed tube guard should have some play on the shank to self-center. Remove the material around the mating surfaces of the shank as needed to achieve this. To install the seed tube guard wing, gently pinch the rear of the wing and push it onto the guard. The seed delivery rail will be installed next. Start by removing any dirt or debris from the inside of the shank. Insert a spacer sleeve on each side of the delivery rail. Insert the delivery rail from the top of the shank until the lower hook on the rail is engaged with the lower shank pin. Be sure to visually confirm engagement. Next, install the clevis pin and hairpin clip through the top of the delivery rail. The delivery rail should not be able to be removed once the pin is installed. Next, install the SureSpeed delivery tube. Slide the delivery tube in from the top of the shank until it is resting on the delivery rail spring and is inside the seed tube guard wing. Connect the row can cable to the delivery tube motor at this time. Next, we will assemble the SureSpeed meter onto the box hopper. Install the plastic standoff to the rear of the box hopper with four quarter inch by three quarter inch bolts. Ensure all four bolts have been started before tightening. Slide the front pivot adapter into place on the meter. Position the seed meter on the box hopper. Ensure the meter is positioned properly by verifying the four bolt holes are aligned and the tab on the meter is interfacing with the tabs on the box hopper. Use four quarter inch by three quarter inch bolts to attach the meter to the box hopper. Install the SureSpeed meter and box hopper on the row unit. Install the meter and hopper on the row unit pivot bushings. Connect the row can cable to the meter motor. Verify the meter is properly seated. Adjust the latch tension to keep the meter and box hopper in place. Leaving the latch loose may cause the meter and box hopper to bounce and cause performance issues. Lastly, install the vacuum elbow provided. Cut the existing vacuum hose to the desired length. Install the new vacuum elbow onto the hose. Please be aware the elbow has left-handed threads. Push the elbow onto the meter. When planting with the rear rows only, install the interplant vacuum plug over the vacuum port on the meter. 
Then slide the vacuum elbow over the closed end of the vacuum plug. Now you will be able to successfully install a SureSpeed meter and delivery system on a Kinsey 3000 series interplant row unit. If you'd like to see more short tutorials from AgLeader, please subscribe to our YouTube channel.